Hello everyone and welcome to Tuesday. It's time to go over and pay my car taxes. My very expensive car taxes because right now the government thinks I still live in Colombia where the taxes are nearly double what they are here. I should get that changed. And I did. My vehicle tax in Colombia was 140 bucks. Here, 80. I saved 60 bucks and uh, it, I guess it was uh, not aware to me that we pay in advance which means I don't have to pay 140 bucks. I just have to pay 80 bucks. So I paid my 80 bucks and I'm good. So I ended up saving $60, which is awesome. The only problem is I asked the lady, I was like, now am I good with Columbia now? Like they're not gonna contact me or have to send me anything else? And she's like, oh, no, no, maybe. And I'm like, well, well, that seems bad. She's like, yeah, you might have to like let them know or something, but we don't do that. So I don't know if I'll ever hear from them again or not, hopefully not. Uh, also, they don't have my address because they they sent it to my old address and it got forwarded here But that only works for like six months to 12 months So I don't know if I'll ever get anything from them again But I should probably look into it and see if it's a requirement that I have to like let them know or something anyway I don't have a car today Because I don't have a car when Mao is at work. So I'm with my father who so graciously Took me to the DMV so I could take care of that um, and now we are going to go grab a bit of lunch and then I will be back home doing some work until uh, seven o'clock, which is when we're going to go down to Georgetown and have dinner with Paul. It'll be nice to see Paul again. We'll probably see Paul maybe one more time before PAX, which is in uh, March. Things are always halfway decent at Ryan's. I was very hungry. To be fair, that food is probably going to pale in comparison to what we're having tonight. We are going down to uh, Georgetown, which is about an hour south of here. We're meeting Paul who is in Charleston for work, and we're going to Portofino's on the Wharf. It's a nice Italian restaurant, which apparently also has good seafood, and uh, we're gonna give that a shot. So uh, let's go, especially because uh, we're gonna be a little late at this point. So we're at Portofino's and we met up with Paul. Hi. We uh, have all had a chance to try our food. Very good, Mal got a cannelloni, and I got to uh, taste the, what did you call it? Bechamel. Yeah, I'm not even gonna attempt to, to re-say that word. It's good. And Paul, you got... Veal parm. Veal parm. And I'm assuming that it is excellent. Good. I tried duck, and it is awesome. It's duck and dumplings. Like chicken and dumplings, but with duck. It's pretty much, it, it tastes a lot like chicken, but it's uh, it's more tender or something. I, I'm, not, I'm not really sure how to describe it, but it's really good. I would have it again. Harbor walk, shopping and dining, or <laughs> or neither when it's just a little after 8 because apparently everything down here in Georgetown closes just a little after 8 but we finished up a very very good dinner and now the three of us are all walking Harbor Walk which looks like this it's dark and there's nothing around and we just walked the street maybe we'll go up past it so I can show you but everything's closed and it's only 8 30 so Everything closes. Paul was saying that um, in Charleston, everything closes at like eight o'clock, yeah. which is stupid and unfortunate. But Georgetown might be similar. Um, but this is cool just because I've never actually seen this part of Georgetown. When I think of Georgetown, I think of, well, <laughs> that. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. It's uh, the paper mill. And that's what I think of when I think of Georgetown. When I go through Georgetown, I just hold my breath. But it's actually kind of nice down here. Yeah. Unfortunately, there's nothing open at all. There's a few people in that room way in the back there. That's a bar. <laughs> the bars close at nine. <laughs> Man. Well, I mean, we were like the last ones in the restaurant. Yeah, well, that was, that's what felt so weird is that I was looking at my clock and it was like 8.30. Not and even. Yeah, not even 8.30 and people were leaving and we were like the last ones left. I'm like, we're not holding this place open. It's only 8.30. Like, that doesn't make any sense. But I think we might have been. I don't know. Everything closes really, really early. I mean, it's Tuesday on a December in Georgetown, so maybe that's... <laughs> maybe that's not a good combination. <laughs> maybe they stay open until 9 on the weekend. Oh, yeah. That's when, that's when it gets real busy. Like, I'm just grasping to see people now. Like, there's a handful of people over there. They just walked out of the restaurant. Maybe they, you know, it's weird, but I think that maybe the, the place that we were at actually did close at 9. Possibly. Maybe they closed at 
this is pretty. This is the end of the Harbor Walk. At least there's actually light out here. But once again, it's uh, not even nine o'clock. Pretty dead. Barely anyone out. <laughs> no one. No, uh, none. Of, pretty much none of the stores are open. Huh. We should look at like the the storefront and see if maybe it says what their hours are or something. Like that store, like the barber. Oh, the barber's for rent. Don't look at the bar. <laughs> Let's do a different store. Also, everything is for rent. Like, everything is for rent. This is ridiculous. Okay, Georgetown's not doing so hot. Maybe that's why there's nothing open. It's because none of these places actually exist. I think we completed a last. What's the ice cream store's hours? Does it say? Do they have hours? <laughs> I guess that's just kind of the place we're at, where you assume hours. You don't you don't go for ice cream at night. That's that's not what you do. Like one of those young hooligans. Well then, uh, this has been a fun Georgetown adventure, but I guess there's not a whole lot left to it. Well, it was good to see you again. And do you know if you're going to be back before PAX? Um, possibly in January. Possibly in February. Possibly in March. <laughs> Well, then I will possibly see you. Or probably, actually, since uh, PAX is until March. Uh, at least one of those should go through, so we'll see. Yeah, we're, we're doing a few things in January and a few things in March, but we're clear most of the time anyway, so there's a pretty good chance we'll see you again before PAX. Yep. Cool. Take it easy and enjoy your trip in Charleston. <laughs> yep. Seeing Paul was a lot of fun, and uh, so was having Duck, actually. <laughs> Um, it was really good, and I would like to try it uh, cooked with alternative methods of cooking. Maybe fried. I think fried might be good in the future. Anyway, um, that's pretty much it for today. Tomorrow, the boys, the boys, are going in for one final treatment for their ringworm. The ringworm is pretty much not even there, hasn't been there for a while. Um, but as one, uh, I guess, last hurrah, they're going to give them another sulfur dip, which means they're going to stink a little bit while Dan's here, which sucks. But um, this is just going to get rid of anything that could be hiding away somewhere. So um, tomorrow morning, real early, my dad's coming over to pick me and the cats up. We're going to take them over and drop them off. They'll be there for a few hours, and then we'll go pick them up. It should be over tomorrow. No more ringworm. Forever. Thanks for watching, and let's be back tomorrow, shall we?